Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits and welcome your beautiful faces to part two of We Buy Your eBay Store. If you haven't seen part one, there'll be a link in the description below. Go and see it. We basically bought out another eBay reseller shop going by the name of Full Circle and we're going to go through everything that we've got from her. This is now part two. It may even be over three parts looking at what we've got left, but I just want to say thank you so much for the support on part number one. It has been incredibly well received. So without further ado, let's go into the uh, the death piles and see what we've got. So as you can see, this is all the stuff and more that we need to go through now. We've also got this little pile to go through and it continues throughout the house and we've got another pile of stock to go through as well. And this, oh, that is heavy. This is the black bin bag we're gonna go through. Oh. A bag full of trainees. I am in my element. We have a pair of Adidas ZX 750s. Easy peasy money them. We've got a pair of driving loafers. Can't say I've ever heard that brand before. Flosham. So uh, not too sure on them. Love these. These are Adidas Climacles. I sell them all day long for about 35 quid. So really, really happy with them. We've got some June London sort of shoes, not too shibby shabby. We've got some Oswegos. Yeah, this is a nice little bag to be fair. Some fly wires, we've got some Campris, we've got some Lotus. So yeah, not a bad little uh, black bin bag full of some shaders. Just a top tip while I'm on these, these are a pair of red tapes. Probably not the best brand in the world, but because it is a brogue and it's a wingtip effect brogue, it's always a good keyword to have in your title when describing a pair of shoes that look very similar to this. This is a wing tip. So as long as you do that, you should hopefully be able to push a sail through quite nicely. Wow, okay. Florsham is a very decent little brand. Driving shoes loafers, you can tell that by the knobbly bits on the back of the heel. These are classed as penny loafers, driving shoes. They're all good keywords, but this is a brand I am not aware of. It seems to be pretty darn good on the old eBay. Should be able to get about 30, 40 quid for them. And I'll tell you what, a pair of Watson Prickard made in Liverpool and established in Liverpool, made in England, obviously. Very nice cherry oxblood colourway. And these aren't wingtip brogues because they don't have that wing effect, but they are still nice little brogues. Should we have to get about 40 quid for these? Which means the first black bin bag's worth is approximately £275 worth of gear there, which is not too shabby indeed. But there's plenty of more them to come you know what you know what we're going to start with the elephant in the room uh this massive mexican suede hat it does actually have a fair chunk of value it's by a brand called salzar yepes i think that's how you pronounce it uh and you should be able to get about 40 to 60 pound on that which is ridiculous it is fairly big so posting this thing is going to be a bit hard but the price of 40 to 60 quid i'm willing to do so so that is always a nice little greasy bonus. We also have this Kermio sort of iMac 24 inch travel bag, and that also um, holds a little bit of value. Should be able to get about £45 back from that. Um, it's in really good condition, and like I said, it's, it's for an, uh, an iMac travel bag. But like, why on earth is somebody taking their iMac on the travels? It's freaking huge. Don't mind me, I'm off to Cancun with my 24 inch iMac. Now this looks like another bag of plush. So let's see what's inside. There's definitely something rattling in there. I'm hoping it's not a toy. Oh, I am hoping it's a toy, sorry, and not a smash plate. Oh boy. Hey up. I'm off to uh, watch Barbie in the cinema. Take this beautiful boom box with me. What are we saying? Gee! Now this looks like a squishmallow and I am correct. Do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? My mum is massive on reselling plushes on eBay. Like she's crazy and she always goes on about rust and some rust stuff is banging money. I think she sent me a screenshot the other day of her selling a rust plush for like 35 quid. And yes, I said my mum 
she does eBay as well. She does it full time as well. So it runs in the family. It was this little thing that was rattling. What even are you? So according to eBay, apparently this is quite a rare squishmallow. There was only actually one listed and none sold. Meet Nell. This is Nell the cat. Well, I say she's worth 50 quid, but there's only one on eBay for 50 quid, no sold. So for that reason, I'm only going to put a list and estimation value of about 30. Try and get that mark off her cheeks uh, and she'll be able to get about 30-ish quid. And you know what? She's even got a little friend. And her name is Bliss the Sparkle. Probably worth about a 10. And this bag's probably worth around about a hundred pounds worth of stock. Not too bad. So the two bags that we've opened have got about 400 quid's worth of stock already in this episode, which is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My favourite has got to be the Barbie mini boom box. So yeah, not too bad. Two black bin bags down and a couple of odds and sods and we're about 400 pound up. Happy days. Right, where to next? And here we go. It looks like another bag of shoes. Which is perfect. Right, we have a pair of Uggs. These are Cambridge mini boots. They are only a UK size two. However, I have actually looked at some on eBay and they still hold a little bit of value. You should be able to get like 30 quid for these. Um, really nice condition and I'm happy with the legitimacy of them. So we'll probably put them in our loft and wait till Q4. A big advocate for this brand. You guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about this brand, but it's a pair of Clark unstructured sort of mini boots. Uh, and again, probably worth listing in Q4. So for that reason, we'll probably put them in the loft, but uh, should be again, another 20, 25 pound. And the last item that I want to mention when it comes to this bag is these pair of square toed leather upper M&S. 55 pound brand new, standard fit. Should be able to get around about 30 pound on eBay. Uh, I picked out this because a lot of people would probably just go past M&S, but brand new, I think it's worth trying to list on eBay and hopefully getting around the £30 mark. Yeah, a nice, another really nice bag. Probably a cumulative, about 200 quid there, but maybe about 180, let's be safe. 180, happy days. That is not too bad going at all. And this is what we've just pulled out from the bag. Don't know if it's because it's a blue bag, but this one, I really want to see what's inside it. And let's be real, probably the best Pixar movie of all time, Toy Story. N not so good on the football cushion, but we will we'll accept that. Let me rephrase that. The best movie of all time, Toy Story. Let's go. I'm yelling Timber! Whoa! The first thing that Spy wanted to have a look a bit more in, Burkhouse, Gore-Tex, leather, vibrant sold, walking boots. Bosh. Oh my days. We've got a pair of Rockport XCS size women's 6W, Gore-Tex, leather, vibrant, walking boots. OMG. Should be like 60 to 100 pound i think i sold my last pair for about 70 quid uh they are a little bit knackered on the back what do you expect when these are probably pretty old i was shown this in a video at the start when we were discussing the deal let me put this on if it fits this is an official incredibles jersey from the style of an nfl top absolutely Incredible. It makes me shoulders look wham. Gee, Robin, you've been working out? No, no, I haven't. Uh, but yeah, this is sick. And this is the back of the jersey that I was just wearing. Absolutely fire. Ain't it, Jay? I wonder if Claus Clutter would be interested in this. I'm just saying. This is nice. We have a British Isles 11 or 12, no, 13s. Uh, Great British Rugby League jersey. Should be able to get 40 quid for that, which is absolutely beautiful. Mate, this bag is probably the best bag that we've pulled out so far. We've got a pair of Solomon Gore-Tex skiing gloves. Should be about 20 quid in them. The old LA Rams from the NFL jersey with Holt on the back. That would add a little bit of value. Should be again 25, 30 quid for that. This bag is the bag that just keeps on giving. We've got a beautiful Nike LA Lakers NBA sort of like soft shell cuff joggers and we've got this sick pair absolute sick pair of adidas joggers as well same sort of material but the tree foil is huge look at that oh this bag is an absolute boomer like like we've got nike we've got england shirts we've got brand new in tag bags 
Liverpool shirts. We've got NFL shirts. We've got some more Liverpool shirts. We've got even more Liverpool shirts. We've got even more Liverpool shirts. This bag is a boomer. And also, I believe in this bag is even more Liverpool. That I think these ones are kids, sort of like polo shirts. Something a little bit like this. But the most impressive thing that I've seen so far in the two parts I've recorded is probably this vintage girl guides group rug I, i'm not too sure what it is i think it's some sort of like oversized poncho thing i don't know pretty sure poncho is supposed to be waterproof but this is wool but you get my gist it is from the swallow patrol 1983 and we've got badges at date from 1985 i think we saw one from 1953 we've got badges galore but they're all different girl guides groups so I am pretty unsure what we are going to do with this, but that is uh, is cool. Like, look at that. I think it was this one that said 1958. No, Absolutely redonkadonk. I have no idea what to price this at, but a lot more work is needed on this piece. And this is the other side of that thing. Like, look at this. This guy. Epic. Absolutely crazy. Like I said, not sure what sort of monetary value if any this has i'm sure it's got something but uh it's freaking cool what a bag and to think that i was probably interested mostly in the toy story bedding i've not even spoken about that but that is in this bag as well probably looking at around 450 to 500 pounds worth of gear here it is uh pretty incredible like I said, that girl guide thing could be priceless to somebody. I have no idea what that's worth. A lot more research is needed on that. However, that's just the start of it. We've got so many more to go through. I've decided I'm going to be wearing this jersey for the rest of the video. Absolutely love it. We're going to do a couple more bags worth and probably round up the episode because the house is getting a bit untidy. I think the missus may kill me. So... Rate my fit, let's be having I'm wearing the Adidas tree foil joggers. Right, a couple more bags or a couple of trays. I'm liking the bags because it's a bit of an element of surprise. So we're gonna go for this bag. Bag for the penultimate bag. Here we come. Oh, I just love seeing that. And these and them. Oh, wow. Just found some Jordans, baby. Wow, wow, wee wow. They're heavy. They are good quality and decent condition too. And a bit random one, but we have a whole bag of trainers and a Zelda Nintendo Wii racing game thing. Random, but I love it. This is worth a hell of a lot more than you guys probably think. This is an easy peasy, I'm gonna say easy peasy lemon money, 30 pound, easy. That is crazy. That's blown my mind. That's mad. And. Talking about things that are blowing my mind, these are a pair of Gabor trainers. I never really pick up this brand, but it must be because it's the Rolling Soft by Gabor. And that's an easy £25 as well. And this is why I like to buy out eBay stores, because I learn something new every day. Sort of breezed over the old Air Jordans, but we'll, I've gone back to them, so we're here we're here we have a pair of air jordan fives and the colorway i believe is floridian or floridian absolutely beautiful black suede with a nice pink and orange colorway these are absolutely ridiculous these are so so cool plenty of life left uh, just a little bit of mud on the bottoms but the suede is so so soft like i have to be honest these are awesome the suede is sensational sensational suede here soft 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 triple velvet yeah uh, i think i need to stop basically it just sounded like i was making love to these pair of trainers but these nike trails they definitely need a uh, a little bit of a mention really really good pair of trainers here probably 40 quid all day long nike react trails easy money bread and butter yes Please. And I think I'm going to make a little donation pile just because they don't fit my business model. We've got a pair of next flippy floppies. We've got a pair of River Island espadrilles. And we've got a pair of lotus, sort of like kind of like snakeskin, sort of like patchwork style. They will get donated to our local charity shop. So that last bag is approximately £275 worth of stock. 
And to be honest, that's only what? 10 listings, 11 listings. That ain't bad going. I've been mistaken again. That's of currently nine listings for a grand total, about 270 quid. Right, the last bag of this episode. I am gonna do it in three parts, I've decided, because there's so much here. And the lucky bag is gonna be this one. And as I was pulling that bag out, this fell out of another bag. So we're gonna include this in today's video, a Spalding Charlotte Hornets basketball. Here we go. I'm yelling, Timber! Wow, wow, wee wow. Another bag full of trainers. <laughs> oh, look how cute these are. These are diddy little kids kickers. They are cute. And no, I'm not getting broody. Um, little top tip again, guys. Uh, this bottom here on the shoes, as you can see, these are in fact crater bottoms. A lot of people will put crater in their title. So Nike Air Craters. And they're quite an easy 25 quid as well. I'll tell you what, this deal is phenomenal. So thank you so much, Full Circle, for getting in contact with me and coming up with a price. I am very, very happy. We have a pair of Nike Air Maxes. Again, when you do buy stuff with bubbles, make sure you squeeze the bubbles and make sure they're not popped. Because if they are popped, it will de... It will dramatically... It will dramatically change the price. So make sure they're intact. And if they are, these bad boys should be worth about 35, 40 quid. Just just because the size is on the sort of lower end, but still worth buying. Oh, we then have a couple of pairs of cute Clarks. Look at them, they are tiny. Uh, probably give, probably list them together and aim for about 15 pound. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I used to have a pair of these Umbros back in the day. I am a massive football fan. I used to play football, play football for about 14 years, 15 years. Then I went on to coaching and then refing. Unfortunately, it's missing a stud, but studs are easily replaceable. Um, but yeah, they look in good shape apart from that one stud that's missing. I think we've just hit like a cute kid shoe pile. <laughs> There's just loads of like little, look at their beauties, little Nike Air Force ones, little kids ones. They're sick. We then have a, another one. These are slightly bigger, but still kids. They're pretty sick as well. Sort of like over advertised nike air force ones they're sick a pair of women's high top vans they're awesome should be another 25 quid all day long and there we have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cats and dogs and rabbits thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy that video please do me one huge favor smash that like button and i will be recording part three and hopefully getting it out for your faces very very soon um but yeah thank you so much again full circle for the deal absolutely cracking deal the more bags I open, the more excited I get. We've got some absolute beautiful pieces so far. And I can guarantee you, we've got some absolute banging bits coming in the last part, which will be part three, and hopefully out very, very soon. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bish, bash, bosh.